When dumb cops make mistakes, the consequences can be fatal. Don't no. ever touch me again. Sir. Get the f off. Sir. We're about to take a look at four cops who messed up so bad, they ruined their own career in minutes. There are several ways that cops deal with people who are drunk, and often they can turn a bad situation around with good policing and the right attitude. But it seems that this cop forgot all of his training except for one specific part. Sergeant Police had been with the Sunrise Police for 20 years, and was about as experienced an officer as you could get, which makes his actions during an arrest in November 2021 even more confusing. When he arrived on the scene, he found his fellow cops in the middle of a struggle. The suspect had been arrested on Sunset Strip after being accused of punching another man, and officers are trying to get him inside the patrol car. But the suspect isn't playing ball. So Sergeant Police decides his 20 years of experience is enough to allow him to push other officers aside and take charge. Hey, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. You wanna f to play f games? You're playing with the wrong mother you gotta do, man. You gonna mace me, mace me. Look at me, mother. The suspect decides to comply when the extremely aggressive officer steps in, and you'd think that'd be where the story ends. But for some reason, police just gets angrier and angrier until one noble cop decides that they just can't stand by and watch any longer. You ever get disrespectful my officers? I will remove your soul from your body. Police had to have been having a horrible day, as it was his threats to remove the suspect's soul from his body that prompted the young female officer to pull him back. This clearly angered him even further, leading to him grabbing her by the neck. This was not only illegal and a huge overreaction, but it was also terrifying for the rookie on the receiving end. Just, just let it be. We clear? Yes, sir. And I'll f see you in about five minutes. Can you stop pulling the hands up from my wrist? Pull it up, it's like an alarm. No, it's like I'm running somewhere. I'm right here. Police was eventually charged with felony battery of a police officer, which comes with a heavy punishment. Predictably, he decided to retire from the Sunrise Police in November 2022, and as of this video's upload, his case is still ongoing. This is just one of many examples of how cameras are essential to police work, but it turns out cameras are not only used to help catch criminals but they can also be used to catch dumb cops in the act. This is the dash cam from a man in Seabrook, Texas. He has just been pulled over by a patrol car and decides to turn his own camera towards him to record the action in all its corrupt glory. Down. Why do you pull me over? I'll tell you that if you roll it down. Why can't you tell me now? Because the reason I pulled you over is you were yelling something on the car. So what? Huh? So what? That's why you pulled me over because I'm yelling. I don't know if you need help or anything. Oh, I don't need help. So, Thank you. Okay, let me see your driver license. I don't need help. You might be wondering why the driver is being so defensive. It all started a few seconds earlier when the driver yelled an expletive at the officer from his vehicle. Despite this not being illegal, the officer decided to follow him, and when the driver signaled to turn, he was pulled over. It's already cracked. I can't see that. Well, it doesn't matter. Here. I don't wish to answer questions. I did. When you demand identification, I have to display this. That's what they told me in the class, that's what the law says. There are two major mistakes that the officer has already made. Firstly, he claimed he had pulled the driver over for shouting out of his car window, but then claimed to have pulled him over to check if he was mentally okay. Most people know that free speech is protected under the First Amendment, and passively yelling curse words is completely legal in America. But when the driver challenges this, the officer suddenly changes his story and claims he pulled him over for making the turn. The turn was perfectly legal, making this stop completely unnecessary for a totally different reason. Luckily, the driver is well aware of this and lets this dumb cop show himself up on his dash cam for the whole world to see. Do I smell alcohol in your breath? No, you don't. How do I know? Because you can't smell my breath? I can smell something coming. Oh, really? Let's see. Let me do some filter 
I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? You saw me where I was coming from. Oh, I just saw you down are you done with this? I'm done with that, yeah. All right, cool. Where are you coming from? I don't answer questions. I've already told you. Let me know when I'm free to go. Also, what is your name? Your name? Sheriff, that's your name? Sheriff? I, I, I'm not familiar with the Eng English alphabet, sir. Okay, can I, have, can I have an incident number, please? Oh, a ticket, a ticket, okay. Now the cop is playing hardball and refusing to give the driver his name. But once again, this cop is completely incorrect, as Texas law requires an officer to provide their identification when asked by a member of the public. Did I exit the Did I exit the vehicle? Did I exit the vehicle? Did I exit the vehicle? Hey, can I? You do have a dash cam, right? Very good. You can't just pull me over because I said the police. I hope you realize that, stupid. Is that your current address? 1622. Is that a question? Yes, sir. Is that your current address? Do I do I answer questions? Okay, I'll just assume that's incorrect. And why would you do that? Did you read my address on the driver's license? It have, an address, that, have an apartment number on your Of course license. it does. Let me see, can you verify? You've already seen it. I've already complied with that part. I don't, okay, I'll be right back. May I say that I've never met anybody quite like you that would uh, yell at an officer doing their job, but so, you have a great- So, let me understand. Uh, no uh, wait, may I ask a question? No. You can see by the body language of the officer just how defensive he's become over having his authority challenged. He's tried every trick in the book to try and outsmart this driver, but nothing's working, leading to the worst mistake of the whole interaction. There's questions on there? There's the yeah, uh, address. Yeah, no, I have a question. Can you get your supervisor here, please? No, Is the stop over? Is over, you may leave. All right. Well, you said the stop is over, right? Okay, I'm not. I'm not getting out. I will. Okay, there is no need to draw your weapon, man. Are you drawing your weapon? You. I didn't get out of the car. You told me that already. A warning for what? Failed to signal return indicator within 100 feet. When the officer said the traffic stop was over, he also ordered the driver to stay inside his car, which he complied with. You have to wonder whether this cop can get anything right. And after this stop was over, the driver filed a complaint and is also due to file a lawsuit. If you thought that cop was clueless, these next two officers are so dumb, they allow themselves to be recorded discussing how to lock up an innocent man. I'm on the side of the road, legally parked, with a sign which is protected by the First Amendment. When officers see a man holding up a sign on the side of the road in March of 2022, they decide to pull over and check it out. The man named Jonathan was warning drivers of the speed trap that they were about to drive past. These two officers took offense big time. Well, Nothing. Go else I'm going to do it right here no, where I'm at. No, so I'm not. I have drivers coming up to me telling me that you're jumping out in traffic. Because apparently they're erroneous. I don't give a what somebody else says. What did you witness? Nothing of the sort. So keep your to yourself, pal. Traffic fines make up a percentage of police department's budget, and these Delaware cops didn't want Jonathan to stand in their way of that crucial source of income. But Jonathan isn't accepting their claims that he's been walking into the road and stands his ground. You keep saying jumping in traffic. When did you witness this offense? Don't you came to me. You came to me. You came to me. You came to me. Just to tell me that you're just out front of the sign. So they want to lick your boots, let them. Don't put your hands on me. But what one officer does next may have completely violated this citizen's right to express himself. Don't put your hands on me. Do not give me my property back. You piece of. Give me my property back. You see this? You tyrant piece of sh What are your badge numbers? Step back, okay? No, Don't walk up no, you stole my 
property. Did you see anything in my hands? You stole your property. Me. Have a nice day. Jonathan goes on to tell the officers that he's going to be right back here with a new sign as soon as he can. As he drives away, he makes an insulting hand gesture towards the cops, and of course, they pull him over for it. What happens over the course of this traffic stop is not just dumb, it's downright corrupt. You're stopping me for constitutionally protected speech, right? Because you had your finger, your hand out the, the window. This is what I did. You got a problem sir, with that? Sir, sir, that? Listen to me. Listen to no, me. No, no, no. All right, listen. Go That's away. That is disorderly conduct. No, it is not. That is disorderly That conduct. is called freedom of speech. If you are no, out no, in the public, no, 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 you are no, out no, in the public no, and people no, see you. No, it is not. Here's, 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 here's what's going to happen. No. License, please. No. Here's what's going to happen. I want your supervisor, please. I am the supupervisor. I am the supervisor. Licensed and that's place. why I'm here. Both officers seem to be stumbling over exactly what they have pulled them over for. And it's honestly starting to look embarrassing at this point. And I'm going to take you to court. Oh, here's what I'm saying. Take it to court. That's what I want you to do. That's license, what I want you. I want you to take it to court. So let, but before we go any farther, you're pulling me over for what? Because you had, your, you had your finger this out. This only conduct now, what? Here's what's about to happen. You're about to be arrested again for resisting arrest. No, I'm not resisting yes, anything. Well, yeah, yeah. Right no. now you're right now you're you're being detained. For okay? what? You're being detained. I told you for, why I stopped you already, sir. For putting my middle finger out. That's yeah, correct. No, correct. No, exactly. Correct. Correct. Right. You extended correct. your arm out the window. No, no I have my yes, middle finger out the window. Okay, so, let's get your let me get your ID. Okay, you had your middle finger out the window. It appears the officers are trying to arrest him on any charges they can, and when that doesn't doesn't work, they resort to dirty tricks. The they next thing you do, we're going to take you in, we're going to tow the car, and we'll call, call per, uh, social services for the kid. Oh, so now you're, threatening, now you're threatening I'm my child. No, it's not now a he's threat, telling it's a happen. promise. You're threatening my child now. I'm telling you what's going to happen. You heard the officer right. He's just threatened to get social services involved and have Jonathan's child taken away from him. But what makes this case even more shocking is the fact that these two cops plan to lock him up, whatever it took, and it was all recorded on their own dash cam. I I'm telling you, if you put your arm out the road, your hand out the road, and you, you like, with a middle finger, you could, that's like a, isn't that? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you yeah. sure about that? The middle finger. Okay. As you drive by, like, oh, game on. Even after they're told by their supervisor that the charges will be thrown out, they still have a grand plan to put Jonathan in handcuffs. Right, right. Yeah, stuff like that that'll fly, unfortunately, I mean, yeah. you, you can't. We, we can't pull people over, we can't write a ticket for telling us to fuck off or right. giving us a middle finger and stuff like that. And, yeah. You know, that's, that's their right to do so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, all right, I'll do some more work up on this guy and uh, I'll, uh, I'll pass it on. And then number two, yeah, he, you know, we have no real basis. Yeah. So it, it, he's, right. he's going to do something stupid one day where we are going to be able to lock him up for disorderly conduct or yeah. and, and, and I just wish we had the witness and, and even had it on video. In the end, Jonathan filed a lawsuit against the officers saying they violated his constitutional rights by preventing him from warning motorists about a speed trap. In September 2023, he won the case and was awarded a $50,000 settlement sum. Nobody likes bad cops. So it's even more satisfying when a good cop takes one down, which is exactly what happened next. On January 14th, 2021, a resident of Harnett County, North Carolina reported her dirt bike as stolen. What followed was a series of events that led to an innocent 14-year-old being treated like a dirty criminal. Okay, do me a favor, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? 16 days after the dirt bike was reported missing, it appeared on Facebook Marketplace. And when the owner saw this, they set up a meeting with the seller in order to catch them out. When they arrived, they were met by 14-year-old Malcolm, who did indeed have their dirt bike. They agreed to a deal and told Malcolm that they were headed out to an ATM machine to get the cash out, when in fact, they were calling 911. The problem here was Malcolm was completely innocent and had bought the dirt bike off the true criminal in good faith without realizing it was stolen. He had made a hobby of fixing up bikes and selling them on, an impressive hustle for one so young. So you can imagine his surprise when instead of finding himself in profit, he found himself in handcuffs. Okay, what's your name? Malcolm? Yes. What's, Malcolm. what's your last name, Malcolm Ziegler? Yeah. Okay, you got your ID on you? No, I do not. Okay. But that wasn't us right. We haven't rode at all this week. Where, where, do all, where do you stay? You stay here? Yeah. Okay, okay. I haven't rode at all today. He literally just came by here. Who's that guy? Who's that guy running down the street? That's his friend. 
it'll, okay. it'll say somewhere up there. Okay. Do me a favor, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? Yep. I did. You're in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. What? What? Diggs, you want to go and verify that for me? Yeah. What? Do me a favor, man. Just um, come to my car right over here, okay? What the? Can I get the bill of sale and show you that I bought it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get all that taken care of, man. But what I what I need to do is just hang tight for me right here, okay? The officer places him under arrest without verifying any of the facts. He had no way of knowing if Malcolm was, in fact, in possession of stolen goods and spent no time attempting to hear his side of the story. Well, I'm going to work on getting you out of there soon, okay? Just keep cooperating with me. I appreciate it. And we'll, we'll get everything squared away. I don't, okay. I don't, and, and sir, I'm trying to find this bill. So I have sir, a lot of and, I, and I'm not saying that you stole it. Right now, what we've got is we just got a stolen motor vehicle. Um, we're not saying that you stole the vehicle. Okay, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, yes, sir. but it, it still is a crime to be in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. The officer claims it is illegal to be in possession of a stolen vehicle, which may be true in most cases, but not here. If a suspect willingly buys or owns an item that they know is stolen, then that is a crime. But since Malcolm was ignorant to this fact, he was totally innocent, and this arrest could prove to be extremely unlawful. And I can and tell you, I can show you, if you can go on, I can, you can go on my phone, I can show you exactly what I bought Okay, from. okay. We met at the Lillington Presbyterian Church. Okay. If you know what that is. Okay. Lillington Presbyterian Church. Well, your dad's coming over here right now. It was about 8.30 when we met. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Hey, um. Dad, I need that so, bill of sale. Reason all this is going down, um, that vehicle's been entered a stolen International Crime Information Center. Do you have the bill of sale by any chance, sir? I, 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 don't, I don't know where it is. It's either in my room or in the garage. You gotta tell me where it is, my As Malcolm's father tries to find proof his son bought the bike legally, two other responding officers begin to voice their concerns over what is happening in front of their very eyes. Is he, is he or 1095? From what I heard, 1095. And that was before I even verified the van. Okay. But that's why it was my first thing I asked. That's, that's what I, okay. now I'm not hundred percent certain, but I believe I heard 10, I heard essentially 1095 before I was even able to verify the van. Eventually, one of them decides to intervene. Is he detained or is he He's detained right now because he is, he did he's not, 14. he's 14? Yes. Okay. So I already explained to him he's detained right now. I told him that. So why is he detained? Because that's a stolen motor vehicle. Okay. So, I mean, Diggs verified the VIN number, right? Did you, is that before all that, that you verified before you? I, I detained him and then okay, we verified. Okay, that's why I asked if he was 1095 or 10. He's detained. Okay. So, obviously he's a juvenile, right? Yeah. Ain't no sense having him sit in the car 10 with handcuffs on. Wait, okay. You ain't, if he was 18 and you might be taking a jail for mm -hmm. possession of stolen property? Right. Different. But we ain't, you ain't gonna take him to jail, right? It's gonna be a petition. Mm -hmm. The officer clearly knows what he's talking about when he explains the difference between detaining an adult and a child. And after urging his fellow officer to reconsider his position, the arresting cop finally comes to his senses. After finally being released, Malcolm found the receipt for the dirt bike and no further action was taken. But his family later released a press conference where they asked for police reform in the wake of another juvenile suffering mistreatment at the hands of law enforcement. If you enjoy true crime videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to see more.